So reflecting on the protests in your city in response to the murder of George Floyd, you wrote in the New York Times, quote, there are two epidemics in America, COVID-19 and racism. Since that time, Richmond has removed all of its Confederate statues. Why was it important to, important to you to confront this history in this way? Well, you know, I, I think Richmond has always, you know, been known as, you know, the capital of the Confederacy. And I wanted to take Richmond in a different direction. I always worried about what was uh, going to happen after the comma, right? Richmond, Virginia, comma, what else? And I think during my tenure as mayor, we get to write what the future, what that chapter is all about. And for a long time in Richmond, our past has sort of been leading our present. And now I think for us, our present is leading our future. And so uh, confronting this is always difficult because as you know, uh, people say they love history, but what they really love, I think is nostalgia. Uh, things that, you know, what we think history was, uh, but history at times can be an indictment. And what I realized people do not like to be indicted, but my city, I I'm grateful you know, we, we tackle this head on. Uh, we know that we are rich in history, but that history is the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I thought it was important if we want to continue to remain a competitive city that's going to attract people from all across this great country, no matter their walk in life, no matter who they love or who they pray to or the color of their skin, that we have to tackle uh, some of those uh, ghosts from the past. And we did exactly that. Today, there is no uh, iconography of the civil war that stands in our city. And I'm very, very proud of that.